What's going on everyone, Drew here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the High Tide P525L, that's a tongue twister, using LumaBooth Assistant and obviously the LumaBooth app. But I'm gonna take you guys through it. We're gonna download the drivers, download all the software, and we're gonna be using the laptop method. This is the best way to print, in my opinion, the fastest, and it's been the most reliable, so let's go. All right, you guys, so before we get into this, I just wanna just mention that this demonstration is for us using a Windows-based laptop. You guys, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to have any huge memory space or fast processor. This is like a $80 laptop, nothing special. All this is gonna be doing is acting as the middleman from the iPad to the printer. The iPad tells the laptop to print, the, the laptop tells the printer and it prints. So first thing you'll need is, um, it's optional, you may not need it. So I'm just gonna give you guys the, uh, to show you how to do it would be the uh, firmware. So you, you would select firmware, Right, and then next you go to operating system. We're gonna go Windows, because that's what we're doing, and this is what I recommend. And then you're gonna go to P525L, and then you're gonna go ahead here, hit download, and then just follow the instructions. It'll literally, literally tell you what you need to do, but I'm not gonna go through that because sometimes you don't need to do it depending on where you're getting your printer from. So we're gonna go ahead and go back, and then I'm gonna show you guys the um, actual first step, like which would be the uh, downloading the driver all right so you hit driver then you go to operating system we're going windows then from here again p525l you click it and then you're going to download so this is different from the firmware right the firmware is just up updating the software on the printer um, but the driver is what is uh it's a piece of software that will tell your uh it'll tell your laptop that the printer is connected to it. So if you don't download the driver, you're, you're most likely not gonna be able to operate your, your printing because the laptop needs to know what, what piece of hardware it's connected to. So as you can see, um, it's downloading here. So I'll go ahead and wait until it's fully downloaded and I'll show you how to download that. All right, so now that it's downloaded, you're gonna wanna hit open file. And I like to hit the extract button. So you see it's extract, clicking auto run. This is gonna set everything up here. Um, obviously you want to hit extract all first, so it's not compressed. It's just a step you have to do. Um, so while this is loading, I just want to talk about, you know, making sure you reset everything after you've downloaded it all. Just in case I don't mention that later in, in the video, just make sure after everything's downloaded, you restart your computer. All right, so now that we've extracted it, you want to hit auto run. What that's going to do, it's going to set everything up that way. Um, your laptop knows what piece of uh, hardware, meaning the printer that it's hooked up to. So hit next. All right, install it. Install, install. And um, yeah, I mean, it's very important, you guys, to do these steps because if you don't do these steps, you're gonna have a headache. You're not gonna know how to print. Um, the laptop needs to know what hardware, again, the printer it's connected to. All right. Yes. Perfect. All right, so please select the printer connection type. USB is the one you want to connect. Um, you don't want to do Wi-Fi. Um, and again, so if you, really, if you look really quick, you can see that we have the laptop connected to the USB. So right here, you want to make sure it's hooked up. Um, the laptop, the printer should come with the USB cable that goes into the back of the printer. So this is how it connects. This is how it does it wirelessly because it uses the laptop as that, um, you know, that middleman. So uh, I don't know if you're good. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. So you want to hit next. All right. Please connect USB to the printer and completing. So it's loading. We already have it installed. So boom, just like that. It's hard to tell, but it is, um, it's ready to go. And then now the next thing you want to do is go to this link here. It's the Luma Booth uh, assistant page. This is um, the last thing you need to install on the printer. So I've already installed it, but for you guys, you'll see right here, you want to download it for Windows. If you're using Mac, you click that link. So you click it, you download it, but I'll save you guys the time. I've already done that. So let's go ahead and uh, launch it. So you're, this is what you're going to see. Um, yes, you want to give it the, uh, the capability to make changes. And then from here, you just hit next. 
obviously read it. I've read it before, but you guys should read it. Hit the check button. Next. All right. Sounds good. Install. And then start the application. So this is what Luma Assistant will look like. It should be popping up any second now. Okay, perfect. I always like to give it the access. I'm gonna show you guys how to load the media, which is the paper and the ribbon, into the HiTai P525L. This is something I get asked all the time, but first step, you know, I wanna show you guys how to locate the power button, and uh, you wanna make sure you plug it in. The power button is right here, so you wanna make sure you turn it on. All right, so the first step is to open the tray. Uh, you want to be able to open up this right here. There's a button right here. You press it, you pull it down, and then this is the inside. This is what you'll see um, when you get it brand new. There should be like a little foam piece here to protect it, but this is a printer we've used. And then also included, you know, you should have your media set. When I say media, I mean paper and ribbon. That's a little bit of photo booth terminology here. So this is a photo booth printer. Um, first step is to get the roll out. You'll get it in your print kit. You have two little side spool things here. You, um, you basically just, each one, there's a little space right here. You put it on, you make sure you have these on. Once this is on, it gets fairly easy from here, right? So from here, you'll see inside the printer, if you look, this is where the paper goes. You'll see a white side on the right and then black on the other side. So you get the, the media, the paper, I'm sorry, not the uh, media, you get the paper and then you match the white side with the white side. So I'm gonna go ahead and in here and put it in here like this, if you wanna see, you literally just, put it in just like that. There's a little slot on the side. So the next step is to take the paper. There's a little space right here. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys are able to see it. In between this middle part and this black part, you wanna feed the paper through just like this. Okay, give it a little bit of space. And then you're gonna to wanna to run it down into here. Then we should see a light. You wanna keep it going. Boom, there's a little blue light right there. That lets you know that the paper is set. Next step is taking the ribbon, right? This is the ribbon, definitely needed. So um, let me see here. Again, colors, you have white and then you have black. You literally just match it up. So you take the roll, you put the top part in just like that. You just press it down, not too hard. And then again, like this, just like that. This is actually a used roll. So you know when you do it, you wanna make sure you tighten it up like that so it's a little bit tight. And then from here, you're gonna to wanna to close it. This is the tricky part. You have to kind of put a little bit of force, just like that. And then now it's gonna calibrate. And um, since we took the, the media out, it's gonna, it's gonna waste a few papers, but what it's doing, it's, it's aligning the paper size. So we'll see right here. It's a little loud, but you know, we're talking about really quick prints. Just like that. It's gonna do one more. And this is how you load the media. All right, so now that we have everything ready to go, you guys have to make sure that your iPad and your laptop are on the same internet connection. Um, I highly recommend you use either your hotspot or you can even create a cellular hotspot if you have a cellular iPad, if that makes sense. So you have to make sure they're on the same internet connection. So we're gonna go over to Luma Booth, right? You're gonna wanna hit the drop down menu and then you're gonna go to printer setup. You want to make sure you have this button checked where it says display print button. You want to select it. And then you want to make sure right here it says Luma Booth Assistant, right? So you notice here right now where it says Luma Booth Assistant is not connected. That's because if you come over here to the laptop, we don't have Luma Assistant open. So what I'm going to do is go down here, I'm going to click Luma Booth. And then you see right here, you want to click it to open it up. So just give it a second it will load up. So you see where it says no? That's because it's not connected yet. And then now we have the green light, yes. That's step one. So now if you go back to the iPad, you'll see here, it says Luma Booth Assistant <laughs> is connected. It's in blue, like a teal color. That is a good sign. That shows us that the laptop and the iPad are communing, communicating together and it's ready to go. So from here, we're gonna go over to launch event do a photo, just let it take some test photos. By the way, this is the deluxe rotate booth. You notice 
how it's in landscape mode. That is one of the cool options about this booth. Last photo. Awesome. All right. So now you'll see it has the print button. You're going to hit print. Let's just do one copy. And if you go over here to Luma Booth Assistant, give it a second to warm up and the print will come out. You'll see it has the photo preview here and then it says print one. And any second now, we will get our print. Just like that, you guys. Boom. If you notice here, right, let's just go ahead and do this. You see how it's a little cut off on the side? There is a fix to that. I'm going to go back to the iPad. Hit the drop down menu. You're going to go to print setup. So from here, you're going to want to go to the alignment and you're going to just make some changes. So you see where it says uh, ver uh, horizontal. You can shift it a little bit just to do the man, uh, to get the other, the, the photo in the correct position. So I don't know if you can see that, how it's moving around. You would literally just play with it. This is the way I do it. I know there's other ways to do it. Um, but let's go ahead and show you guys how to do the two by two strips, right? The photo booth strips. So we're going to go here. I'm going to select a different event, right? One that has a strip template. So you go to print layout. Let's just do this. We'll just go to a preset two by six. You want to make sure you have it selected. Let's just make it three photos. And then from here, you want to make sure you hit paper size and you're going to hit two per page. This is very important. Do not skip this step. All right, so now that we have that, let's go down to um, printer setup again. Make sure the print button's there. It is. You go launch event. But you guys do not hit print yet. Don't do a test when you want to go back to the laptop. This is where you change the setting in Luma Assistant. You go to printer settings. And then from here, you're going to want to make sure the uh, high type printer selected, which it is. You're going to go to preferences, then papers. So right here, it's set for the six by four. That's how we got that, that postcard from the first photo. You're going to want to select uh, the split. Six by four, split, X by two, two prints. Hit OK. Then go to print. Now we're going to go back to Luma Booth. Test photos. It's going to take the three photos. Shout out to the cameraman. You can see him in the mirror. <laughs> <clears throat> and obviously these photos would look a lot nicer if we had the ring light on. This is just to give you guys um, just a look at it. We're not trying to get the quality here, just trying to get the basics down. Perfect. All right, we're going to skip the filters. All right, skip the digital props. Then obviously you'd have a template here, but this is just for research purposes. You hit two. All right, now if you come here, now it says two prints. And then you could see that it's doubled up and it's going to cut it in the middle. What I love about this printer, you guys, is the fact that it's fast. We're talking 13 seconds and it cuts the strips for you. So you'll see what I'm saying right now. So you'll see the view of it coming out. One, two. Just like that. That's how you print with this photo booth. And again, if you're using Mac, there is a few extra steps. Um, you're going to have to change some settings on your computer to allow yourself to download um, the firmware, the hard drive, uh, I'm sorry, the print driver, Luma Assistant. There are just a few extra steps, but this is my favorite way of printing because not only can you print, you can also still text, email photos. Um, I hope you guys were, uh, I hope you guys found this video informative. And if you're interested in getting this printer, go to our website, photobooth101.com. We have it on sale here. We sell the paper, we sell the ribbon and all that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, make sure to subscribe and like. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Take care.